the question is, how would you prove a bad fan motor? I would bench test it. I mean, what I mean by bench test, don't pull the thing out. I would, um, your, your furnace is going to have, your furnace motor is going to have a red wire and a black wire. Black wire is going to ground. Great. Wonderful. The red wire is going to go to your control board, your little DSI board inside. You're going to pull that little red wire off, pull your control board off, pull the red wire off. So now I got a red wire in my hand sticking right here. It's the red wire that goes directly into the motor. Okay. Not the red wire that goes to the electrode, not the red wire that goes to anything else. It's a red wire that goes directly to the motor. And then again, a little selfless plug on my test lead set that we make. I would take my test lead set and I would take my 12 volt battery off of my drill and I would basically take my test lead and I would set it up like Barbie's Playhouse with all these accessories and I would basically connect to the red wire plus and the frame minus and I'd give it 12 volts and I've isolated the motor, haven't I? I'm giving that motor unadulterated, do not pass go, pure 12 volts directly to the motor and um, it's a go or no go, pass fail type of a thing. And that would eliminate the board and anything else. So that's how you would test a motor directly. All right.